Okay, so in this video, I want to discuss how to use a micro bit to read an LDR. So as you can see here, um, this is the LDR itself. LDR stands for light dependent resistor. And here's the micro bit. Um, this micro bit is actually a version two micro bit. Um, but if you have a version one micro bit, um, the wiring as well as the coding will be the exact same as what I'm going to show you during this tutorial. Um, now, for the micro bit itself to read this LDR, um, you can't actually connect just up these two little wires up to the micro bit itself. And um, there's a few more steps that you need to follow. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of the additional components that you're going to need to carry this out. Um, and that's going to be three more wires. Um, in this case, we have three different jumpers. Now, the reason that they are these three colors is just to make it nice and easy for you and to see which wire is leading to um, what part, basically. Um, the reason I've chosen red is because I'm going to use the red for the three volts, the actual 3.3 volts, which comes from the micro bit to supply power um, to the LDR itself. I have my black wire, which is going to serve as my ground wire, which is going to run from the ground of the micro bit back to the LDR. And then we're going to have a third wire, which is basically going to take the value that the LDR is giving and bring it back to the micro bit itself so that it can um, show it on this five by five matrix display here on the front of the micro bit itself. Now, as well as those jumpers, we're also going to need a resistor. This resistor is a 10K resistor. Now you can use a variety of resistors for this. Um, but this resistor I find gives a good spread of the values for the different light levels. So for instance, the light value here in this room, if I set this up, will be around 800. Now, if I put my hand over the LDR, it will drop it down to around 200 and something. Depending on the resistor you use, that gap between the different light levels um, varies. Um, but I find that the 10K works best for me. Now, what we're also going to need is a battery pack just to supply the power to the micro bit itself so that can run this without taking the power directly from the laptop. Um, now, you can run it just from the power of the laptop if you do not have a battery pack like this and just use your micro USB. Um, you just have to ensure that it's connected all the time to your laptop so that supplying that power to the micro bit itself um, to run this bit of code um, to read that LDR. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to jump over to the code itself um, and then we're going to come back and put together the basic bits of the wire um, and then show you it running. Okay, so we've just jumped over to the Microsoft Make Code Editor, uh, which is basically an application they've put together to help code the micro bit itself. Now you have a few different ways of doing that you can just write your code using javascript or python or you can use this block code that they've created uh, which is you know for beginners it gives you a variety of different blocks that you can just chain link together um, that can provide you with um, certain outputs so what we're going to do is we're just going to stick with the block coding um, we are given two different blocks here to start off with and we're actually not going to need in this occasion the on start block. So we can grab that, bring it over here and leave go just to delete it and keep our forever block. OK, what we're also going to need um, to read the value coming off the LDR itself. So we're going to need some additional blocks to do that. Um, now, there's not going to be a block, um, an LDR block included in the basic package here. Uh, now, there might be in the extensions, but for the basic package, we're just going to deal with that for now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a block here called show number. We're going to drop it in under forever. And then we want to change the zero to something that's actually going to read in our LDR. So we know that our LDR is going to have one pin or some one jumper coming off it, which is going to carry um, a value itself back to the micro bit um that you know that the micro bit can read so what we're going to do is go down here open up our advanced we're going to select pins and we're going to go for an analog read pin okay now the reason we're going for that over digital is because the signal coming out of the ldr itself is going to be an analog signal 
So, you know, anything like an ultrasonic and LDR, they're going to have analog signals coming back. So this is the one you're going to want to pick. So now we're just going to drop it in there like so into that section which had zero before. So it's going to show number analog pin zero. Now you want to ensure that the pin that selected is going to be the pin that you've chosen on the board. Now I like to go with pin one, but you can select pin O, one or two. And the reason why these three pins are going to be the pins you're going to pick is because they are the three pins that are shown on the front of the microwave by itself. Now some of these additional pins are also there, but they're quite small and hard to utilize without using some sort of a breakout board. So we're going to do select one of these three, one, two, or three. Uh, sorry, zero, one, or two. Uh, so I'm just going to go with pin one. And then after that, I'm also going to put in a weight block. Now the reason I put in a weight block, which actually represents as a pause block here, um, and I'm going to give it one second, which is a thousand milliseconds, is just to give the mic a bit of chance to read the signal that's coming back um, from pin one uh, for it to outline what that value is. And that's just going to keep our values fairly consistent. If I didn't have this weight there, it won't take that time uh, to appropriately read that pin. And now you might be able to get this down further, um, but I think it's most consistent if you give it one second. Okay, so now that you've seen um, how the code goes together, we're going to start putting together our bit of wiring here. So um, nice and obvious things first, we are going to get a ground, which is going to go directly to our ground here in our micro bit. We're going to get our three volts jumper, which is going to go to our three volts here on our micro bit. And then we're going to choose one of the three additional pins um, to read the value coming off the LDR itself. Now we can use oh, sorry, zero, one, or two. And each of those three pins can read um, analog signal. Um, some of these little pins below here will also read analog, but some of them won't. Now the functionality of those pins when on this board itself aren't great because it's tough to directly connect to them without jumping across these different little pins. So I'm just going to choose one here because it's nice and obvious and it's not going to connect across to one of the other pins by accident. Um, and as well as that we had chosen one in our coding. Now what we're going to do is we're going to need to set up our bit of our wiring for our LDR and our resistor. Um, what we're going to do is just connect the resistor itself to one of the legs of the LDR. Um, now I have that done over here so I'm just going to bring that in here and this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have your LDR um, and then you're going to have on one of your legs you're going to have this resistor which is going to be coming off like so. Now it doesn't matter which side of the resistor that you connect, it will work perfectly all the same as well as it doesn't matter which leg of the LDR you connect the resistor to. As long as that one of the legs of the LDR um, don't have anything on it, you have the extended part of the leg here which goes on past the resistor itself, and then you have the leg of the resistor. Now this leg at the end of the resistor is going to connect straight back to ground, so I'm going to connect it back to the black wire here. Then I'm going to have my three volts, which is going to be going directly to the leg, which is by itself going to the LDR, like so. And then I'm going to have my last leg going off here to the extended part of the second leg of the LDR. I'm just going to ensure that it has a nice hold. We'll separate them out a small bit so that they're not touching. Um, then all you're going to need to do is upload the code to the micro bit itself by using your micro USB cable. Now I already have that done, so all I'm going to need to do is connect directly up my battery bank, like so, and then you're going to start getting numbers reading out. Now it's a bit tough for you to read that here, so I'm just going to turn off the overhead light. You should be able to see it a bit easier. So it will be getting 775, I'm going to wait again and read it, 775. Four. Okay, so fairly close the numbers are there together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger over the LDR itself and see what numbers that reading. Three, seven, 
2, if we give it a second, 3, 8, 0. Oh. So as you can see there, it basically has halved the value that it's reading since I put my finger over the LDR, so less light is actually getting through, um, so that the number displayed is a lot lower. So if I take it away again, it should be going up to around the 7, 800 mark again. Okay, so 7, 7, 6. I'll wait to read it a second time. 7, 8, 1. Okay, so the last one there was 7, 8, 1. Let's see what happens when we put the overhead light on again. Now it'll be hard for you to read it, but I'll read it out for you. So it's 8, 1, 8. Okay, so you can see the number has gone up since that additional light has come um, and being read off the LDR itself. So that's basically how you get um, a micro bit to read an LDR.